All right, let's get started. And once again, welcome to the latest edition of Zoe's Merchant Webinar Series, where today we're going to be talking about boosting B2B and wholesale sales with net terms. Um, in a moment, the Rumbleship team will be joining us to talk a little bit more about what net terms are and how you can leverage them to your advantage for your business. Uh, before we get started, we'd just like to remind those of you who have attended before, as well as um, let those of you who are new to this series know how you can participate. We'll be accepting questions throughout the presentation, which we will address at the end of the presentation during our Q&A session. So while you're listening, if you have anything that pops up or anything that you're curious about, feel free to submit those questions via the chat. Uh, if there's something we can answer one-on-one -on -one while the chat's in session, we will certainly do so, and we'll also bring them uh, into the room for the group to discuss at the end. So definitely share any questions that are on your mind um, as we go, and even if we address it during it, it may be helpful for someone else who might have missed the, the answer to the question. We'd also like to remind you that there's more webinars to come. You can visit our Merchant Webinars page. We've actually just simplified the URL. If you go to zoe.com slash webinars, it will go to the same link as you see here. So zoe.com slash webinars is your ticket to find all of the Merchant Webinars in our series. You'll see recordings from previous webinars that are available. We're about 20 recordings in now. This slide's a little old. Um, and we're also posting these recordings on YouTube. So if you miss a portion of this, if you have to drop off early, never fear. We will definitely get a recording out to you soon. So definitely keep an eye on that. Before we dive in, I always like to try to find a, a bit of information that I think might help set the table. This data is a couple of years old, but I think is representative of the types of issues that B2B businesses face. Um, one thing to, to sort of think about is if you're thinking about a, a B2C transaction, say you're going on Amazon and purchasing something, we're all very acclimated to paying upfront, and so therefore you enter a credit card number and it gets shipped to you. In B2B, you're more likely to see invoicing happening, um, and therefore there's a window of time in which these invoices are paid. One thing to note, though, is that um, in a survey done a couple of years ago, about half of businesses were only doing some sort of homework up front to determine the credit worthiness um, of, the, of the business, especially if you're working with someone new or requesting a secure form of payment that's less risky, uh, or both. Uh, so half were kind of just rolling the dice and hoping that things worked out. 80% um, of companies use some credit management policies to, to mitigate their risks, which is good. Um, the average payment terms in the U.S., Canada, Mexico, um, and you know Central and South America is factored into a certain degree here as well is about four weeks. Uh, but the average days of sales outstanding was more than that. It was closer to seven weeks. So even though terms were around the 30-day mark in terms of having 30 days to pay, many invoices were getting paid after that. Um, you can see that over a third of B2B invoices in that survey was reported as not being paid on time. So this is important because if you're a B2B business and you're selling online and you wish to extend terms, one of the things you have to, to worry about is the cash flow implications of that. Will you get paid next week? Will you get paid next month? Will it take three months? So understanding how to de-risk these issues is one of the things that uh, we'll talk about uh, as we get into the conversation with Rumbleship. So at this point, I'd like to introduce Matt and Alex on the Rumbleship team. They're going to talk a little bit more about net terms uh, for those of you who are less familiar with it and what that means and also talk about what that means for you in terms of how you can maximize it for sales. So Matt, Alex, I'm going to pass uh, control to you. Hey Josh, thank you very much for that introduction. Hello everyone and thank you for joining us today. Good morning, good afternoon. My name is Matthew Abdullah and I am the Director of Sales Operations here at Rumbleship and I am going to get my presentation up here in just a moment. All right. This is Rumbleship. We are Rumbleship. My name is Matthew Abdullah, Director of Sales Operations here at Rumbleship, and I am with Alex Lugash, who is the founder, one of the co-founders and CEO of Rumbleship. Hi there. And today we're going to tell you a little bit about what we do and what we can do for your business. But before we begin, I wanted to offer, or I wanted to launch a poll. And we had a question, which was, you know, this whole presentation today you know, as Josh introduced, is, is really about offering terms and, and credit and, and information. And so we really want to learn, you know, how many people today are offering terms in their B2B checkout at this moment? And, you know, terms we're going to show you is a really important tool for your sales. And, you know, we're going to explain that, some of the information behind it. But we were just curious before we got started to see who already offers terms to their customers today. I'm just gonna close that poll. 
So it looks like most people are not. So this is a perfect webinar for you. So today we're gonna go over five topics. What is Rumbleship? How it works, your options, our ideal customer, and how to get started. So let's start with what is Rumbleship. Rumbleship is a B2B gateway for e-commerce merchants that allows them to offer flexible terms directly in their checkout with zero risk. Never worry about invoicing, calling, or collecting because Rumbleship guarantees payment on every single sale. B2B merchants can grow their sales by 20% and sales volume by 17% when offering Rumbleship to their retailers. So let's dive into this just a little bit, Alex. What does it mean to offer terms with zero risk and getting guaranteed payment? Yeah, so with Rumbleship, every order that you take through your B2B e-commerce um, portal or through your e-commerce store that goes through the Rumbleship gateway, when, when a buyer decides to check out Rumbleship, we guaranteed payment on that order, no matter what. It doesn't matter if they pay us late, pay us never, it doesn't matter if we cover that. So that's just part of our risk mitigation. Um, and then we are actually able to offer terms at the point of sale at checkout. Um, so you never have to do invoicing at all. You'll never have to send another paper invoice or a bill.com or anything. It all happens in band. And that makes merchants live supplier lives and merchants lives much easier so how does this product work how does rumble ship work a retailer places an order in your b2b e-commerce website so in your zoe shopping cart they will place their order they will select rumble ship at checkout which we will show you a little bit later rumble ship will pay you early and rumble ship will debit the buyer directly when the bill is due. So this is where we are a little bit different than any other kind of solution out there. Um, other solutions will accept checks or other forms of payment, but Rumbleship is unique in that will directly debit the buyer from their bank account, which they will connect to the gateway. So that's kind of one of the very cool nuances with Rumbleship. So, the way a term works, and we put a net 60 term work or next 60 term here, uh, works like this. So on day zero, an order is placed in a shopping cart. And day zero actually is the day product ships. So the day a product ships would be considered day zero. Um, that's, on, when your, that's when your term start. That's when the term starts. And on day 30, Rumbleship will pay you early. Day 60, Rumbleship will debit the buyer for the invoice cost. So this is just an example here. Um, the day that a merchant is or a buyer is paid, like it says here on day 30, could be day 45, it could be day 15, it could be anything like that. So here we kind of have just an example of different terms that are able to be customized for your business. And these are terms that can change seasonally, depending on if customers need to place orders, uh, you know, big pre-season orders or uh, anything like that. They will really be able to have control and to change these options with us, um, what is best for them and what is best for their buyers. Yeah, so it means that basically, as a supplier, you can say, well, here's when I want to get paid. Here's when I want my buyers, what are the terms that I'm, I want my buyers uh, to be able to access, what you find uh, they think will be compelling. Um, we have pretty common ones we use pretty often. Um, our, one of our most popular ones is our net 30, where we pay out um, 15 days after the, the orders originated and then debit buyers on day 30. So. That's really common. Our net 45 is very popular in various configurations. Um, it just depends on what you need and what your business needs um, and what your customers need. But we can we can com completely customize this for, for you as a supplier. So we work with a bunch of brands. This slide has actually <laughs> changed since we made it. We're working with even more brands now. But there's a, there's a lot of great brands. We actually uh, kind of got our start in the cycling industry and we've moved into 
lots of other retail industries. Yeah, we work actually in industrial supply, uh, paint supplies, hosing, um, clothing. Um, we work in uh, some uh, medical uh, cannabis stuff. So we're, we're all. Yeah. Speaking of, you know, CBD, one of our one of our biggest customers is a brand called Floyd's of Leadville. And Floyd has a really cool story. Um, you know, he's a former Tour de France winner and he's a very, very cool guy. And when he retired, he decided to, uh, you know, he had chronic pain from a hip replacement surgery. So he decided to start a CBD company. And, and what's really interesting about this business is um, they began working with us from the very beginning of their B2B sales. Um, and I interviewed Floyd and after six months with Rumbleship, you know, he's been able to grow his B2B sales from 50 sales a month to now over 250. And the reason he's able to do this with Rumbleship is because he doesn't have to, um, he doesn't have to pay a billings team, a collections team. He doesn't have to worry about getting paid late. You know, he started using Rumbleship because we're easy. He gets a guaranteed payment. We're simpler and we're cheaper. Um, those are really the highlights there. Um, he gets, he gets, I know Floyd right now is doing, I remember when they started, they were just running coupons to try and do B2B and now they have a full on B2B portal. They're doing orders. In fact, um, we've started working with other people adjacent to them. Um, and basically they don't have to do any cash flow management. Like he always knows when he's going to get paid. It's always going to be predictable. It's always going to be on time. And what's also great about this product, what Floyd's business is, he uses sales reps. And so businesses who do use sales reps can also use Rumbleship. Yeah. Um, so this is an, sort of a limitless possibilities in terms of options, the way businesses can use Rumbleship. So our ideal customer, um, when we're looking at, you know, people that are going to be, you know, the best for using Rumbleship, um, that would be has more than 10 B2B customers, does more than a million dollars annually in B2B sales, and has an average order size between $50 and $10,000. Yeah, we, we are actually really flexible in terms of the order sizes we can take. Basically, this $50 number is sort of the smallest we've seen, but people can place a $1 order if they want on terms. It doesn't happen often, but we've seen tiny little orders and people just like to get in their terms, so they do it. Um, and then in terms of buyers, you know, we find that our customers who are most successful have, have sort of a breadth of buyers and they, it, it'll, it allows them to manage the long tail of buyers. So what this really means is we can almost work with anyone. You know, this is, we, we our, the customers we have vary in size and vary in order size. And so we're a solution for small businesses and big businesses, yeah. which is really exciting. So what does Rumbleship cost? I'm sure people are already asking themselves that question. You know, we get guaranteed payment. We get all these things. This has got to cost a lot of money and it doesn't, which is the incredible part. Yeah, actually, this is our average um, transaction fee. Um, I know we have suppliers whose transaction fees for some really um, short terms are, I think, around their 1.5%, which is significantly less than even your, your credit card. Um, and there are no other fees with Rumbleship. We just take a transaction fee. There's no setup fees. There's no monthly fees. There's none of that. Um, there's no gateway fees. It, it's all wrapped up in just your per transaction cost. And when someone is purchasing product through Rumbleship and you know receiving guaranteed payment, they're not using a credit card. So they are not, it is not 2.5% on top of an additional transaction fee. Yeah. You know, when someone executes a transaction using our gateway, um, it is a flat, you know, percentage. And that percentage varies on the length of the terms, you know. So whether you know, yeah, it, it, it really depends on, it depends on the time delta from when we're paying you versus when we're debiting the buyers. Um, but we're flexible on, on all those things. And we've never had a company come to us and not be satisfied with the terms you're able to provide. 
and not see an increase in sales. So here's our kind of summary slide there at the end, and, and these are really the six key benefits that you will get using Rumbleship. You're gonna be able to offer terms directly in your checkout. Offering terms will can increase your sales volume by up to 20%. You know, you'll get guaranteed payment on every single sale. You'll never have to worry about chasing payments again, uh, collections, anything like that. We offer flexible terms for any kind of business of any size and terms allow terms will open up the doors for your buyers to increase their order frequency by up to 17% as well. So, you know, this is really a massive sales tool. This works with any kind of product, any kind of B2B transaction and any kind of sales model. So if you're using sales reps, this still works with you. Um, it's very flexible and, you know, it's just a great tool for business. It's kind of a no brainer. So, um, now I'm going to hand things off over to Alex and we're going to show you a little bit of a product demo here. Um, sort of what rumble ship looks like, what the workflow would look like for a buyer, uh, and you know, what kind of a B2B store feels like. Yeah. So right now you're looking at. Um, we're going to imagine that we're a buyer who's logged into a B2B experience and we're going to shop and check out Rumble Ship. So right now we're just going to add a few things to the cart. Um, let's add this shirt to our cart. Um, we'll add a hat, a and this, belt. And, and just kind of as a disclaimer, this is, you know, this would be whatever your web store looks like today. Yeah. So it'll have a very different look and feel to this one. Yeah. Whatever your store is, it doesn't matter. So now that we've added these things to our cart, let's go to checkout. Um, this is a pretty common flow. You see somebody's, you know, billing details in here. That's fine. Um, we do offer some cash back options for buyers that comes out of our margin. Um, so the gateway we've chosen here is Rumble Ship Flexible Payments. You know, sometimes people have check payments in here or PayPal or whatever. In this case, we're gonna use Rumble Ship Flexible Payments. And you can check out with Rumble Ship now. And it's gonna take you into very briefly, just like sort of a PayPal flow and what we call pay. Um, and this is running slow because it's in a demo environment. And so the way this works, it's really simple. A buyer chooses their term so they can get pay now, which is a little discount for them. We offer that again, net 30, net 60, whatever your terms options here are, we've made those available. We even have a credit card gateway built in um, for contingency. Uh, a buyer connects a bank account, and this is really simple. They connect their bank account by choosing their bank, entering their username and password, submitting this, and choosing their account to debit. Um, and we debit that. So we already have a bank connected, so I'm gonna exit this. So we have a Chase Bank already connected here. Here's an order summary. This is where the products will ship to. Um, that's right at the, the header. This is where your brand logo goes. And then here's the summary of the products, shipping, totals, total charge, and then they finalize the order. As soon as this is finalized, they get redirected right back to the checkout page uh, that, that we left, the order summary page from your e-commerce site. They see, you'll see the orders received on your side. You box up the goods, you ship them. When it's marked as shipped, the terms start. We pay you when we've agreed to pay you um, automatically through uh, an ACH transfer. And then we debit your buyers through their connected bank account when the term is due. So you never have to do invoicing again. It's completely solved. So that means you're never chasing people for payments. Uh, you're never worried about late payments. Um, I know Josh showed a statistic earlier that said 40% of B2B, uh, it was 38% of B2B, um, you know, terms are paid late. And so, if you can imagine, you would never ever experience a problem like that again. So that is the end of our presentation.
So I want to open the floor back up to Josh here. Uh, did we want to do the second poll question before we uh, we move on, or? Yeah, you know what? We can do the uh, second poll question right now, actually. All right, and let's that launch is, that then. After you've seen this presentation and, and the order flow and the workflow and all the benefits you can receive from Rumbleship, you know, would you like to offer terms in your B2B checkout? You know, after seeing how easy it is, you know, guaranteed payment, flexible terms, uh, very little, co very little cost. Um, you know, if you're interested in that, you know, click yes. And we just kind of want to see how many people are interested now. And we'll give a moment for you to, to, to put your vote in there. And, and, and also those of you who are, who've been doing this a while, you know, we don't do polls very often. So thank you for, for giving this a go with us so we can see how this works as well. Uh, this is kind of a, an experiment on this particular presentation. Um, but, uh, I want to thank, um, both Alex and Matthew for for the presentation. We're going to get to Q and A in just a second, um, and uh, we'll just give this poll a chance to, to shake out. It looks like a lot of you definitely found this presentation interesting. Um, I, I think it's terms is always one of those tricky aspects of of a business because it's a, definitely helps you with sales, but the management of it's really the tricky part because if you have to manage invoicing and chasing after it yourself, it can quickly become an administrative nightmare. So. This is why I think companies like Rumbleship definitely offer uh, a great alternative to that because you have the ability to uh, know exactly what it's going to cost you. You know the cost of, of, of working with them to have them manage this for you. You know when you're going to get your cash. You know what you're going to be able to offer your customers. So it, it does make it much more predictable uh, for you as a merchant and especially for merchants who are content still growing and um, have more things to think about than they want to. I think this is a great, a great way to offer something that doesn't add a lot of overhead for you as a business owner. So uh, I think that I hear yeah, matter so This is a great time. We've got some questions coming in. And so the first question, and I'm gonna let Alex answer this, and that is, you know, if all of your sales are done through a sales rep, you know, how does it work? You know, how do you use Rumbleship and sales reps? Yeah, yeah. sure. So um, if your orders are, if you have sales reps, um, and your orders are being placed through them, um, and this sort of depends. If your sales reps are logging and placing orders on behalf of customers, that would be the user in your B2B e-commerce who's doing that. Um, and then the basically they would be checking out on their behalf. They would just need the, the buyer to, to authorize the transaction. Um, the other thing is if you have sales reps, um, I know for example, um, the guys that we mentioned, Floyd's of Leadville, they have sales reps, their customers, are going online, logging in, and ordering even when the reps aren't in the in the store, um, and they're ordering at all times of night. But they've attributed those sales to those reps. And I'm happy to do uh, uh, an individual follow up with with whoever asked this question. Um, the next question. Actually, before we move on to the next question, I just want to make sure I remind everybody how to submit their questions, uh, so that way we might get more. Uh, so uh, on the screen, you'll see the directions. All you have to do is access the questions section of the GoToWebinar panel, and you can submit your questions, which we'll see up on our screens here, and we'll be able to address them as part of this conversation. Um, so the next question that came up is, um, is this something that could be available for all of your business customers, or is there some sort of a requirement that they must meet to be able to, to access this option? Um, no, so every, uh, the onboarding process is actually relatively simple. So if you do like a QuickBooks dump of your customers to us, um, and it, it, uh, it gives us a list of your, your buyers, we, we vet them very quickly and it will be available to all of your B2B buyers, um, unless for some reason they don't pass the, the check. That said, those people don't pass, we'll just get what we call our pay now option until they've paid a couple orders that way and then that will kick them over into terms so they can get into good standing very quickly. That's usually like 3% of buyers or something. It's, it's very low. That's interesting um, though. So you actually have the ability to kind of let them prove themselves. And so even those that don't initially qualify, if they're a regular customer, they could qualify in the future. That's correct. Um, we try to get everybody in good standing. Most bills, and you'll see this on your, your slide. Most bills who are, that are paid late, it's interesting. The term is, I think, uh, uh, 28 days or 30 days. And most people say they get paid on day 48. That 
and we don't actually have proof of this, though we're starting to get better and better insight into it. Most of that is because 48 days is two weeks after um, that term is due, which means basically your bookkeeper is showing up every two weeks and paying bills. And <laughs> that's, that's interesting. Um, the receivables default. Listen, nobody has a receivables problem. If you have a receivables problem, your business has a serious problem. What you usually have is a receivables management problem. Right. So this mitigates all of that management. That makes a lot of um, sense. I, I, I can speak from personal experience to that too. I used prior to working here, I worked for a, a web development company, and uh, it was interesting how we always received the most payments twenty four hours after after a bookkeeper sweep. <laughs> so when we wanted payments, we just made sure we timed the bookkeeper sweep for the day before. <laughs> right. Um, the next question. Okay. So anyway, I, I hope that answers the question. Yes, we. This is available to all your business customers. Again, I'm happy to take individual uh, questions after the, the thing, and I can actually call and follow up with people if they want. Absolutely. So this question I can address. So the question is, if you show up late and you want to see the demo again, will the recording be available afterwards? The answer is yes, and actually I'll quickly talk about that. Um, so we have our, our landing area for all of our merchant webinars, zoe.com slash webinars now works, or you can go to slash merchant dash webinars as well. Um, this recording usually goes up within 24 hours. We send an email to everybody who participated or attended today, as well as um, anyone subscribed to our newsletter that's um, a customer or, or asked to receive our, our notification. So this will be sent out in, in about 24 hours from this presentation and will then be put up um, on our page as well. And then we'll probably make it to YouTube in a couple weeks. So there'll definitely be ways to watch this recording and, and catch everything from the beginning. So if you want to rewatch a portion just to, to catch something you might have missed or or if you just want to uh, watch again, maybe maybe you're distracted right now because this is definitely a busy time of day for some of you. Um, that is definitely available. Um, well, uh, that's all the questions we have submitted right now. Feel free to s take a couple more minutes if you have any other questions to submit while we're doing that. Let me just remind you that we would love to hear your feedback about this and any of our merchant webinar presentations. Let us know what you thought, other topics you might want to learn. Um, if there's areas we didn't cover in this presentation, you wish we dive deeper. Uh, this could be an opportunity for Rumbleship and us to, to get some information over to you. So feel free to email me at josh at zoe.com and we'll be happy to uh, take in any feedback, uh, good, bad, or, or indifferent. We want to know uh, what you think. Um, and as a reminder, um, this is not the only webinar we've done, of course. We've done over 20 of them now, so definitely check out our previous presentations, um, and the recordings are also on YouTube. We have another presentation coming up in two weeks, another B2B-focused one, this time on content marketing. Um, you might have heard that term. You may not know always what that entails, so we want to dive into that a little bit with you and talk about how you can use it to drive new customers. Um, the primary aspects of content marketing, um, the value of the different content formats, and then where is content marketing today in terms of your toolkit. So we will have that presentation two weeks from today at the exact same time as this one, 1 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time on Wednesday, July 11th. Um, we'll have a Q&A after that as well, so feel free to attend and, and ask any questions about that as well. Uh, looks like we did get another question in while I was uh, reviewing all of that. Um, if a customer wants a full or partial refund on a purchase through Rumbleship, can you talk quickly about uh, how that would work? Yeah, sure. So that is actually a great question. Um, so we don't do payments outbound to a supplier before what we call day 15. Um, and the reason is basically for this answer. So they will receive their product and basically, it, it, it solves what we call shipping mess ups. Something wasn't in the box, somebody wants a deduction, whatever. So we can make modifications to an invoice and to a payment before uh, it has to be reconciled in real time later on on both sides. Um, so there's two weeks before, you know, after somebody's received it to get this all right, um, before we have to go reversing everything. Um, so that's a, that's a really easy fix on our side. Somebody just calls us in and says, hey, th this changed, and we can verify that and move on. Um, we've had that happen, I think, once. Makes it's sense. Much less, um, it's much less common in B2B. But, you know, that's because B2B e-commerce, people are buying their things. They know what they bought. They put it in a card. They confirm it. So here's a question that I have for you. Um, so let's say the customer has 60-day net terms. Um, 
and I, I see that it says that it's going to like the, the the you had sort of the thing that it's going to take the payment out on day sixty. Now it's June twenty seventh, so some people deal with quarterly situations. And let's say I'm a business and I really want that payment to clear now, and I've got another twenty days before it's supposed to come out. Do we have the ability to go back to you and and pay early, or or is it always going to be just on that day sixty? So you can pay early or at the point of checkout. So you can choose a different term. So there are, if there's a net 60 term, you'll probably see another option for a net 30 and a pay now. So mm -hmm. somebody can pay 30 or 60. Um, but that is a decision that's made at the point of checkout. In the future, you will be able to go back and say, well, actually, I want to pay early there. And here's the dynamic. So for the moment, merchants merchants will have the ability to show up front, but it's not something they can go back uh, and change at the, at the moment, but that'll be something that'll happen in the future, possibly. Yeah. Um, so it looks like there's another question. Yep, here. just came in. Do you approve all customers for terms, or do you reject some depending on their credit quality? And if you reject some, what's the, the decision-making process around good or bad? Sure. Um, so the way it works is when a uh, – a supplier sends us their customer list because we have to verify that everybody's actually a B2B buyer based on it. most people have a B2B buyer login. Um, we don't want consumers having access to the, the Rumbleship gateway. It's not what it's built for. So only B, your B2B customers are able to see the gateway. So we, we, we enter them all into our system. Um, that said, we do do an underwriting of all of them and run them through our system. Um, we approve them all basically for credit. However, if they don't meet the credit qualifications, they can still see the Rumbleship gateway and can still check out on it, but they'll only be able to use a net term of pay now. Once they've done a few orders and they've been good, we will bump them up into the net terms category and assign them a credit limit. Um, so we can assign, we assign credit limits usually based on their previous buying behavior with you um or uh or where you would like them to go so if somebody for example spends five thousand dollars a month on your site but you'd really like to move them into that top 20 percent category of buyers we may extend them seven thousand dollar um seven thousand dollar limit so but again that's all on our side um we we have very few people who don't meet the qualification what oh boy what is the um, so I, there's a question here and then I have a couple questions I'm gonna add in. Uh, what is the largest credit limit you will give to a customer? Do you have like an upper end where you cut people off at a certain point, or is the, the number really dependent uh, on some other? Yeah, you know, right now the largest credit limit right now that we have outstanding is forty five thousand dollars per month. Um, so um, and that's moving up. I think that will that that'll go up. It just depends on the quality of the business. Um, there's not really a limit per se. Um, if people are good, they're good. So it, it just depends. And it depends on, on you know on the circumstances, but we've we've never we've never um, undershot somebody's limit. Let's put it that way. Makes yeah, sense. I think also oftentimes what we see is we may set an initial limit, and as people um, become sort of accustomed to purchasing product through the Rumbleship Gateway, and they're accustomed to having terms, and they begin to trust in the product, they begin to want to spend more. And at that, at that time, often we'll, we'll raise people's credit limits incrementally yeah. too, which I think is something that's, that's kind of important. So, you know, most people will start at a certain place and, you know, as they grow into the product and they need more um, and they have good history, they will be given it. So here are the questions I wanted to add just based on sort of your explanation about pre-qualifying the customer. So obviously, if someone signs up today with you, they're going to have their customer list today, but they'll be adding over time. So let's say a new customer comes to their door. Um, how long does it take for you to evaluate a customer if they submit someone new? And um, uh, let's start there, actually. Let's, let's start with that question to keep it simple. Yeah, um, our turnaround time on new customers is usually 20 minutes. Great. So... Usually, the way we do this is if an application comes into you, we ask that you add our email to that application um, flow, basically, so it also gets ported over to us. We'll look at the application. Um, there's a, you know, and we will check that buyer out. 20 minutes later, 
will within 20 minutes we'll have them onboarded and they can start buying with a credit limit that's been assigned to them. Um, and that credit limit is informed by what the standard buying practices are of your other buyers. Um, if, for example, you say, hey, listen, this is a big account, they probably need a limit like this, just let us know and we can, we can do that. That's not a big deal. Excellent. So, so since obviously a lot of Zoe customers, they use their websites to generate new applications, they have sort of a, a, a wholesale registration screen, for instance, to be able to access the store. Um, if they're able to tie in that into Rumbleship into that, that chain, then the idea would be that you can get them all set up by the time the customer is approved to make their first purchase. Correct. We're usually faster on onboarding a buyer than our supplier partners are in terms of turnaround time. Cool. And then we did get another question in. Um, can um, a merchant see their customer's yep. credit limits so they can upsell them? Oh, that's a really good question. Um, we don't expose their limit to you directly. You could ask us. Um, one of the reasons we don't, I mean, they can tell you basically, they'll, they'll be able to know what their limit is. Um, but we don't expose it. it. It provides a little bit of a perverse incentive, basically, um, for somebody to say, oh, I, I know my customer has $10,000 in credit, but, you know, they only normally order $6,000. I'm going to try and push them in because they basically have this, this risk-free credit. Um, we like to let buyers decide how much they want to buy. You can find it out, though, and we may expose that in the future. Um, we just don't have that feature built yet, but that's a really... Uh, that's a, a great question, and I think we'll we'll submit it to um, engineering and, and product to see what we can do there. Great. Um, well, at this point, it doesn't look like we have any other questions, uh, so we'll probably wrap a few minutes early. But we do want to remind you that if you do have any questions that come up after um, this presentation's over, if you're watching this as a recording, or if you think of something after the fact, please feel free to reach out to me, Josh at Zoe.com. You can also reach out to the Rumbleship team uh, as well. But I'm happy to, to forward it over on your on your behalf and make sure that we we kind of work together to to get an answer because others may benefit from it as well. Um, so that said. Um, I want to thank everybody for joining us today. I'd also like to thank uh, Matthew and Alex for joining us uh, from Rumbleship and, ex and uh, sort of explaining their service and the net terms opportunity. Um, and if you're interested, um, keep an eye out because we'll also be sending some follow-ups to some of you um, to let you know about Rumbleship's availability on Zoe, so that way you can also take advantage of it. Uh, that said, thanks everyone for participating and for watching, and we'll see you at the next Merchant Webinar. Thanks, Josh. Thanks so much.